Is that true? Right? Isn't that the condition? You're testing positive for cooties. But do you guys know, of all the patients who tested positive, about 32.1% of them do not have what? Cooties. So here's what's happening. If you ever test positive for cooties, if you get it, you know, you test positive, right? What's the first question you're going to ask? Test me again. Why? You're going to make, make sure because in this test, 32.1% actually did not have what? Cooties. Do you guys know what this phenomenon is called? Where are the nursing majors? This is a false positive. Meaning that you tested positive, positive for the infliction, but you really do not have the infliction. You test positive for cooties, but yet you don't have it. Okay. All right, you guys okay with that? The second situation is known not as a false positive. This is a false what? Negative. Meaning, guess what? They're asking you to determine the likelihood that you have cooties, given that you tested what? Negative. So of all the people that tested negative, number that test negative, how many have cooties and test what? Negative. So tell me, how many people tested negative here? How many? 4,300? 4,300 people tested negative. OK. Of the 4,300 people, how many also, or how many of those 4,300 had cooties? How many? 25. So that 25 over 4,300 what does that become as a decimal? 25 over 4,300, what is that? What is it? 0. 0, 0.00 as a percent. As a percent, it's what? 0.6%. That's less than 1%. A false negative. Less than 1% of those cases are false negatives. So don't think that it should have an equal value of false positive or equal probability, equal likelihood, false positives as false negatives. In this case, no, you have a much smaller probability of having a false negative. Okay? So if you test negative, it's still likely, not very much. Sorry, it's still. It still can happen, 0 0.006 probability, that you actually have cooties, even though you tested negative. So does anybody here, has anybody ever had these sort of tests in their life? OK, anybody have these tests? A cooties test or any other test? Uh, am I the only one? OK. Guys, you know how this works? Because we'll look at the probability values. You know how this works? Notice this. The false negative is a small probability. So if you test negative, there's a probability, there's a likelihood that you could still have cooties even though you tested negative. But that is small. Is that true? So when you test negative, you want to know what happens? They don't call you and say, hey, come test again. See what I mean? So you may sit there and go, I just got tested for cooties. Good, I'm happy. What can be the case? You may still have cooties, even though you tested negative, because there's an error. Now, what happens is, of those people that test positive, that's the first thing you go, oh my god, what's the likelihood I do not have cooties, but I tested positive? Well, this is a much higher value. And so what happens is, of people who test positive for anything, pregnancy, tuberculosis, cooties, whatever, there's a follow-up test. Is that true? To verify that result. So there's a follow-up test.
OK, you guys OK with this? I just want to point out, you, get te you test negative for cooties, you're not out of the woods because that probability is not zero. It's not likely, but still possible. OK, you guys OK with that? Is it break time again? Good. It's a good time to break it.